evening everyone and welcome back to the vlogs the christmas vlogs the very festive vlogs i'm starting this this evening because i've had the busiest day and i think this is why i start early because some days i have so much on like i have filmed so many pieces of like content and shot today and it's just been very very intense and before i know it it's getting dark and i'm turning my lights on so it's been one of those days that just literally runs away with me but today is the last day before ali gets home and i've got a lot that i still need to do to get the house right i've been working my way through the washing which we will eventually do later on this evening as well. But I'm actually going shopping this evening. I'm going shopping to my local garden center, which is one of my favorite ones to go to. I love it. It's called Frosts. You probably would have come there with me before. And they've kindly invited me down to do some shopping whilst it's closed, which is just a bit of a treat really. So I'm heading down there with Carrie this evening and we are gonna do some Christmas shopping because literally I went there a few weeks ago and I was like, oh my God, it's already Christmas here. And it kind of spoiled it, but I didn't go and look at anything. So I've still got lots to discover when I'm there. But um, I'm looking for lots of lovely little pieces just to finish off the tree. So I go to places like Frost's when I want to get something really kind of special. I don't like to go too mad on expensive decorations. I just like to get a few. So we're gonna go have a look around and pick up some bits and I'm gonna take you Christmas shopping with me. I'm gonna see if there's any gifts there as well for anyone of my family and things like that. Just have a good old, a good old Christmas mooch. And then I'm gonna come home and your girl has to pull her finger out. There is a lot to get sorted and a lot to get ready. Luckily, I've got the cleaners coming in tomorrow so that the house is spotless. I picked up Ali some pick and mix because he loves pick and mix. So I'm gonna have them waiting for him when he gets home. And I'm gonna make sure that there's food in. We've got a food shop coming tomorrow so the house will be stocked. He's gonna be, I hope, very happy because I've gone the extra mile to make sure the house is perfect for him when he gets home. This light is not very flattering because I've got my chandelier on because it just makes me happy looking at it, but usually I do my makeup with a ring light, so if I would be doing my makeup at this time, but I'm not, I've done my makeup already. As you can see, I am just rambling on basically. But I've obviously been in my dressing gown because I've been changing for each different thing that I've been filming, so I'm gonna put on some proper clothes now. I think I'm just gonna put on some jeans and a cozy jumper and some boots so that we can head and have a walk around. And I've also got a parcel to open with you as well, so I'll do that when we get back. I need some water, because I have not drank enough water today. <sighs> that was good. I still haven't unpacked from sleeping on the streets of London a few days ago, so I still need to do that. Yeah, so a lot of life living in this vlog and just mundane life, apart from the Christmas come shopping with me. So. Without further ado, I'm gonna get myself ready and how long is it until we leave? Oh, I've got about two hours, so good amount of time. Still loving my hair though. Look how nice it looks, just looks so thick and full. I'm so happy. This is what I'm going to wear to the garden center tonight. I've just got my Max Mara jumper cardigan thingy on. I thought I'd lost the, what's it called, the tie because it doesn't have loops. Oh, it does have loops. Okay, I totally made that up. But I just want to be warm tonight, so I've got an Intimus Me, like, roll neck underneath, page denim jeans, and some Chloe boots. I haven't decided on a bag yet, but most likely it's going to be the Dior one, just because all of my stuff is already in there. The only thing I do find about this cardigan is it does, you've got to, like, zhuzh it. There we go. Perfect. Reached your destination. Woohoo! We have arrived at Frost and it is like an actual ghost town because we're going shopping with nobody else here. So I'm very, very excited about this. Carrie's already out of her, out of her car waiting for me. Yay, let's go. Right, let's go and get the festive Christmas decorations. Anyway. Wow, it's so festive, look at this. And this is the quietest I've ever experienced it. Does this open? Do I? <laughs> Looks like we're breaking in. <laughs> 
Wow, this is a treat, isn't it? <gasps> it's so quiet. Wow. You only have to like fight through crabs. Yeah. To, yeah. <laughs> to get Look at this. That's a bit of you. I know, it's a bit of me. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, I feel like you need these for your kitchen. I have elephants. But you're, they match the tiles on your wall. But, but, uh, you don't demote my elephants. Well, <laughs> I'm just thinking of you. Oh my gosh, can we do like supermarket sweet? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You get drawn to the cosy stuff, Millen. <laughs> oh, these are so soft. Do you know who'd love those? Me. Lummy. Yeah. <laughs> Me and Lummy. They have a grey one here with the fleece. Oh. See, Ali likes these ones. Ali doesn't like wool grow. No, he loves like the, Soft. I know it sounds bad, like the, the, the cheap yeah, type Yeah, yeah, he loves fleece. those. I'm like, no, use the wool ones. He's like, no. Oh my gosh, this is the moment I've been waiting for. Do you need to go see Santa this year? <laughs> <laughs> This is like those movies when you're a kid where you get trapped inside the store. <laughs> oh look, they have the things that you've got. Oh yeah. I, I actually need to get more, but I couldn't even smell them. So what's this one? Fur. Christmas tree. That's so that's the one that I got. That's a and bit what too are these spicy. Ones? So pear in a pine tree or cinnamon. Let's smell the cinnamon one. Wow, there is so oh, much yeah. Christmas. Yeah. A few of these, I think. They're beautiful. They've got snow in them. So are these, look. Wow. Right, I'm gonna get four of each. I'm just gonna get what I like. Do it. These are lovely too. The little like icicle styley ones. Yeah, I don't have any icicles. Oh wow, look at these. They're beautiful. Yeah, they're st they are lovely and they'll catch the light nicely. Two of them, because they're eight pounds each. So that's two. <laughs> oh, I love those ones. So the tree in the kitchen is my frozen ice tree. That's kind of what I call it and this little section here is so perfect now these are expensive but it's why i only buy a few of them so that you get some really special pieces on your tree not just a load of baubles but you don't obviously buy hundreds and hundreds of them i come here just to mainly get my like really cute special ones these are like stalactites i think that's what you call them tights come down mites go up huh tights go down mites go up what does that mean Stalactites hang from the ceiling, stalagmites grow upwards. So these are stalactites? If they hang from the ceiling. Okay. I love those. I'm going to get four of those. I don't think I've ever been this excited in all my life. This is just such an experience. I can't even... I don't... I just... I don't even know where to start. This is so exciting. And there's... Everything is so beautiful. I could cry, this is so exciting. I love Christmas. I love it. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the windows in the rain is pouring. It will always be Christmas in my heart. But this year I... <laughs> These are like the, the flower fairies. What are they called? They were flower fairies. Flower fairies. I always call them the garden fairies, but they're flower fairies. Like an ostrich <laughs> This is the kids section and I could obviously look for my nephew, well both my nephews and my new baby niece in here. I love these kind of traditional style toys as well but then they've got, oh look at this, wow. Oh I bet kids must have a field day in here. This is incredible. <laughs> Essential. Need what? Because you steal mine all the time. <laughs> they look like yours. <laughs> Where's my one? I'm hoping for a pony inside. Where's my one? <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, they're adorable. Austin and Flo, then I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll get them one each of these and then I'll put their Christmas prints in them. That's adorable. Ah. Oh. Perfect. I think this bauble is big enough. <laughs> Like the moon. <laughs> oh, I love these. What are they? Look at the robins. What is it? The fat little robins. You just stand in your kitchen. <laughs> these are some of your things. Look, flamingo. I've got a flamingo already. Should we get you a, a, a ship Christmas decoration? Well, you want to join in the tradition for my tree as well? Yeah. You're more than welcome. It's like not got your initial on it. <laughs> <laughs> You're more than welcome to Is add to the. It needs to be a tree decoration. How about this one? <laughs> <laughs> a huge sheep. Ah, oh, the festive spirit of a. What is this? <laughs> is it a sh half shrimp, half oh, mermaid? <laughs> We're both showing each other things in a moment. You don't need to see them to know they're there. And I could eat peanut butter with this. So I, I know you're there whilst eating peanut butter. Yeah. this one? They do. Good things do happen over coffee. It's called life. <laughs> Got enough candles there, Millen? I go for a lot. Especially pillar candles. Need to find you your smelly oil. I know. Christmas yeah. Christmas smelly oil. Yeah, I just don't know where it is. Notes of a crazy cat lover. <laughs> Driving home snack? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I need chocolate tonight. I feel you deserve chocolate after today. Really? Maybe I should get, go pick me some chocolate. Mm. <laughs> That's Just that? That's... Oh, right, okay, yeah. okay. Go in. Let's go on a mission. Supermarket sweep to find melon chocolate. <laughs> oh, where do we go? Oh, here we go. She's a bit of a fuss pot, though. Got a friend one. Milk chocolate for the best. Oh, it says girlfriend rather than. I just want friend. Now we're gonna have to do her a friend one and one of these because she likes milk chocolate. That'll do. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Hi everyone. I'm now home from my what felt like a home alone experience like in a department store getting to shop all of the Christmas stuff it was great I've just got home though and I devoured the chocolate that Carrie made me buy if you haven't realized guys it's that time of the month and I am struggs it just doesn't get any easier and I'm so annoyed that I'm struggling because I want I need to get the house perfect for tomorrow like you have no idea how stressed Ali is gonna have been with the fact that he has like been traveling everywhere and he has to come back and shoot a campaign and it's insane for him and so I just want the house to be perfect and there's so much for me to do it's ridiculous hello hello you hear mommy talking you hear mommy talking Hi. yes come on then come on then you're coming up Lula. 
Oh, stretchy, stretchy. You coming up? You coming up? I can hear you purring from here. <laughs> Do you want to see what mummy's been buying? As soon as she runs up meowing at me, I just lose my train of thought. Literally, my world revolves around my cat. <laughs> Yeah, I have a lot to do to get this house to Ali's standard. Like, Ali has the most insane standard. I don't know how he does it. Like, when I, like, take something out, I really struggle to put it back. <laughs> Ali is, like, militant with it. But, yeah, I really do need to get on top of everything. And I just want him to come home and be like, oh, yes, 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 yes. So I'm going to do my best to do that. And then once I'm sorted, I am going to um, show you what's in the box and also show you what's in the bags because it was so lovely to be invited down by frost i'm such a like huge fan it's such a special place to go so i picked up some really special little decorations <laughs> and also picked up some bits for my niece and nephews gutted that they didn't have my oils i shouldn't really tell you about this until i've picked up my other ones but they do this really festive uh, <laughs> Lummy! No! What are you doing? You're gonna push Mummy's bag off! What is wrong with you? What is wrong? And this oil smells exactly like the White Company one, FYI, but it costs like two pounds. So I stocked up, but I need to get some more just in case because obviously Christmas and all of that jazz so oh I look tired I'm gonna go and get into some pajamas because life is better in pajamas that's gonna be the title of this vlog life is better in pajamas it's not gonna be the title of this vlog because no one would watch it but I'm gonna title it I'll put it in the credits no I'll put it in the tags life is better in pajamas good morning everyone I had a bit of a funny night's sleep last night but I decided to move my pillow and sleep next to Lumi and we had a little snuggle all night. I'm about to put my Christmas scent on. This was the oil that I couldn't get yesterday from Frosts. It's called Pinecone and Potpourri Refresher Oil in Winter Spice. And it's the Milford collection. Apparently they said it like flies out. But luckily I stocked up beforehand. But I do think I might need some more to last me through Christmas because I'm a savage and it's not even December. And I'm already through work. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Today I've got quite a busy day. I'm shooting a few campaigns. I've also got my new bit of furniture arriving for the project, the secret project. I also have a lady coming round from Cola. We're just basically looking at our bathrooms for kind of like design possibilities and just to sort of talk things through dimensions, get them measured up and stuff. Just standard kind of things. I won't be filming that though, so I'll fill you in afterwards. I also have a fair few deliveries arriving. Actually, I have two. One from Reese. I made a very big Reese order, which I haven't done for a while. And I've also got another so I'm gonna jump in the shower and get myself ready. I'm also on a one woman mission to keep my house very, very spick and span today. So if anyone makes it messy, I'm gonna be furious. I've got the cleaners coming today and Ali gets home this evening. So I want it to be perfect. It has been a very busy day today, but at this moment in time, before I tell you what I've been doing today, Carrie is giving me a fashion show because she's going to see Hans Zimmer tonight with her boyfriend. And look at the way you look at me when I say boyfriend. Like, oh, she said the B word. <laughs> and we're helping her put... Ch put, 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 put. <laughs> we're helping her choose her dress. So in the comments below, let us know what your favourite dress is, okay? First up, I love the pattern on this. By the way... It's I would put a waist belt with it. Underwear solution or waist belt? Ooh, I love how you've come round to the uh, underwear solution dark side. I've got, I've got the perfect underwear solution for you as well. Is that gonna make it really short? Because I'm not a short dress person. Do you want me, wait, you need to come here. Oh, I've got 
anymore. They can't see it. This is number one. Okay, beautiful. I love the pattern. Look how awkward, I love how awkward you are. <laughs> Do you want me to get you an underwear solution so you can see with, with it? I can't even see it yet because I changed in the toilet. <laughs> Should we go upstairs yeah. to my dressing room? Come on then, come on then. Then we've got all of the tools that we could ever need. Tools. Underwear solutions. Oh my god, I need to do all my washing before Lana comes. That's my underwear. There you go. Little bit of elastic goes a long way. No, that makes it too short for me. Well, no, but I don't think you need to do that. You've pulled that up way too much because it's just a black band. It looks like it's part of the dress. So put it on your waist, you weirdo. Putting it on your hips. Mm, let's make ourselves look bigger than we are. That's lovely. No? No. So you wouldn't wear a belt like that? No, I pull it over. But, but, mm, I don't know about this dress. Okay, dress is going back, that's a no. That's the one I've accidentally bought two of. Whoops. Well, I can go back. Yep. Cute. I'll this one. That is so cute. You need to steam that though. Do you want to steam it here? Because that will take don't forever to iron. To, um... No, steam it, put it on a hanger and take it. I'll no, steam it for you. I haven't you. got time, Millen. Okay. I need to go in two minutes. Okay, well okay, that's gorgeous with with like uh, with heels, heels, black heels. No, 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 no. Okay, what what shoes? <gasps> Riding boots, probably. What about my church's black? Do you want to try them on? I'll wear my black boots. Okay. I'm happy with my black boots. Okay, very cute, Thank very cute. You. Okay, very let's try the red one. I think the red one is like a birthday one. Yeah, I think the red one's a birthday one. Okay. Sorry, we've just been going over it. That colour looks amazing on you. I love red. With your hair as well, it looks so nice. I wish I'd bought that size in this dress. Why? Because I felt it felt like that one fitted nicer. I feel like this one's ever so slightly too big. But that's bigger size, that one. Size. Oh, right. I thought you wanted the... Sorry. Yes, you're right. I thought you were saying that you wanted a bigger size in that. And I was like, no. No, no, no. I bought my normal size in this. Yeah, no, no. I have my normal size in black. And they yeah. had one size smaller or like five sizes bigger. So, so you, got the, you got the four? Like well, wear that tonight, send that back and get the smaller one. The smaller Just one. order it um, now, because otherwise it will sell out. Okay. okay Black it is. Black it is. Send me a picture. Yeah. Have fun. Thanks. But not too much fun. <laughs> Why? Because you're not there. Exactly. Good evening, everyone. The cleaners are in the house making everything perfect. I have to deal with my dressing table because it is an absolute, well... It's a mess. There's a lot of stuff on here that I need to sort out. There's also a lot of clothes I need to hang now that I've got to hangers. So I'm gonna finish up up here, get this ready to be cleaned as a whistle. And then hopefully Ali can come home and it'd be all nice. The only thing that I can't do is judge the secret project so that it's nice for him because there's a console table that needs to go and I can't move it. So. That's a bit annoying. Maybe he'll be able to move it. I don't know, but it's sold now anyway. So anyway, I'm gonna stick you up here and have a huge sort out of all of this stuff. I look like I'm going outside, but I'm not. I've been cold in my house and I've been waiting for everyone to leave. It's a bit of a madhouse today. We had appointments for the bathrooms, we had cleaners in, the house oh, is so nice and clean, literally amazing. I've been listening to the Frank Sinatra Christmas album, so I can turn that off before YouTube gives me a big old copyright claim. So the house is now as good as it's gonna be for when Ali gets home. All of like my candles are lit and everything is in here ready. I'm so excited for him to get home. I'm gonna put the fire on when he's just off his train and candles are lit. I'll have music playing. I think I'm also gonna make some mulled wine for him because even though I know he's got a campaign to shoot tomorrow, I thought that he would probably appreciate a little mulled wine. So I'll make him his first cup of the year. Hello, sleepy princess. You good? You good. But yeah, I felt like I was chasing my tail with all of the house cleaning, but I just couldn't get on top of it. Sometimes I feel like when we have people in our house, like they just make it messy. They like leave their stuff everywhere. And I'm like, Aah! yeah, it's good to have everything organized and tidied away. My dressing room is tidy. Everywhere is tidy. The only thing that isn't is the secret project. So. That's all I'm gonna tell you. I thought I would go through the things that I bought. 
I've also got these two big boxes. I've got a Reese order and a Louise Via Rome order. And also I thought I'd quickly show you the bits that I got from Frosts. So yeah. Thought I'd sit in front of the Christmas tree and show you what I got. I'll leave the boxes for now. I got some stockings, one each for my nephews and nieces. So I've got Austin, I've got Leo and I've got Florence. And I can fill those with lots of little things. I've got some extra decorations that I think you mostly saw. I'm not gonna get them out now because I don't wanna make everything glittery actually. These ones I loved. These look like little icicles. So I picked up some of those, probably go on this tree because there's still a little space left that I can get some on there. So we've got some really nice little decorations in there. I was really upset that they didn't have my oil but they said that they're gonna get some more in and they will let me know. Lots of decorations in here as well. I think this is all decorations, yeah. That's a little bag of decorations that you probably would have seen me pick all of them. Then I got a little gift for Florence. They had this gorgeous baby grow in there, but they only had it in one color and I wanted, yes, Lummy. And I wanted it in another color. So I picked up this dress instead. This is from Dandelion. This is three to six months. So it's something that she can probably grow into, but I really liked the fact that it was this, Lummy. I really liked that this was like gray. So it wasn't like your typical pink or blue. It was just a really beautiful kind of chic little dress. So I got that to go in her, <laughs> in her uh, stocking for Christmas. Then I got this for Leo. This is um, a little book because Leo is learning to read. So I thought I'd get him a little book about Christmas. It's got his name on it. These are all from Frost, by the way. Um, I picked up a card, a Christmas card for my husband. And then I picked up just like a little um, top up of some candles. Because I go through a lot of uh, pillow candles because I have them like all over my home. And I love them. When I was there, obviously the food hall wasn't open and the florist wasn't open and the actual like garden center wasn't open. But Frosts have like literally everything. There was also, there's also a cafe there. Yeah, they have everything. And it's a little bit of a ritual that I go there every year. And I mean, I go there all the time but I do go there every year. If you remember at my old house, I even got my wreath from there one year, a real live wreath. And yeah, see, I haven't changed. I've always been a bougie bitch putting my wreaths on my door. Anyway, that's what I got from Frost's. I may need to get myself a cheese knife to get into this one. So I haven't shopped on Reese for a very, very long time. I don't actually really like Reese clothing. I don't know why I haven't shopped on there for a while. I, don't, I, have no, I have no answer to this question, but anyway, I found myself on there and they actually had some, am I like doing this the wrong way or something? Usually these things have like a, so weird. It must have like a sticky thing on it. And it's like, how do you open this? I feel like I'm gonna break my nub. <laughs> okay, Reese, these are badly designed, okay? Very nice, strong glue. But how the hell do you get into them? There is no, usually there's like a pulley tab and you just and it opens. Ugh. Um, sorry for that noise there. Anywho, this was an expensive order from Reese and I almost bought a jacket as well. They've got some amazing shearling pieces on there. Like I said, these were purchased with my own money. These weren't like gifted or anything like that. Here's my receipt that I can't show you because I can't show you. Well, I can tell you how much I can stop. So, I saw these gorgeous, oh my God, this is amazing. I'm really into like bodycon jumper dresses at the moment. And this one had like a little, like dropped hemmed skirt. These are gonna look so much better on. So I'm gonna see if I can try these on with you, but I really, really hope they fit nicely. I really want them to be nice and tight on the waist. So I got this black one. I've actually got two quite similar in here, so I'll show you that one. Then they had these satin trousers. I bought everything in the smallest size that they had. So everything is in my usual size. These are some khaki satin trousers. I thought that these looked very similar to my Joseph ones. In fact, they are very similar. However, Reese do better sizing. However, I'm not sure if that actually will fit my waist. I may have to have these taken in. But I really liked this color. It's like a khaki, goldy, taupey color. And I thought with a black roll neck, these will be super comfortable and look really nice as well and look nice with heels. This is a dress that's very similar to the other one, except this one has a drop hem, but it has like two ruffles to the bottom. And it's kind of asymmetric, I think, is that right? 
kind of drops down on one side. So I got that in the black in the extra small. I'm not too sure about how this will fit. I hope it fits nicely. I really do. Lumi's obviously getting in the box right now. Hello. Hello, my little princess. You want to sit on mummy's lap, don't you? You're such a needy little Mumu. So that's the black one. I also got it in khaki because khaki appeared to be like a really big colour on Reese. Yeah, got it in khaki as well. Same size, same dress, double fluted hem, but I thought with leather boots, you know my Jimmy Choo boots, or even my Chloe boots, I thought these would look so nice, so easy to throw on, warm, and at the moment, I don't know what's wrong with me, but I love wearing tights. Tights are the most freeing thing at this time of the year. They are so comfortable. You are just, it's like being like, it's like not having anything on, except you have tights on and you're perfectly covered, but you feel like you have nothing on. It's great, I love them. I'm loving tights right now. So much so that I bought a skirt that would look really nice with tights and my acne jacket, they styled it up really nicely on the website that I liked. I'll show you what I mean, but it's just this kind of black and white cream skirt, I thought with a black jumper over the top and a big black coat that would look really cute. That was not a lot for how much I spent on Reese, but we will try everything on. Oh, sorry, Pippi Squidge. Oh, I just elbowed her in the head. Mummy loves you. Please don't think that mummy hates you because she did that. So I'm gonna pop these back in this box because I'm gonna have to get rid of all of the packaging. So I actually made two Louise Villaroma orders and only one turned up when the first one was supposed to arrive. I'm not convinced that this is everything. There could well be a box missing and there may be a mystery afoot, but we will find out. I'm not sure if everything's in here, you know, which means there was supposed to be a box delivered today and it wasn't. Is it in? Prove me wrong, Louise of the Aroma. This is an item that I saw. Their new season, Zimmerman, had launched online and I saw this and I was like, Lydia Millen, if ever there was a blouse that had your name on it, it would be this one. So I saw this gorgeous like butterfly, it's like a peachy toned, bell sleeved high neck blouse and I ordered it. There and then, I ordered it. I do love, uh, I've definitely got a hair on my face. I do love me a Zimmerman piece and I've got quite a little collection upstairs. So this is one that I really liked. I will try this on and show you at a later time. But really, really happy with that. And then I also bought myself a candle because Louise of the Aroma does homeware and they do really, really beautiful homeware as well. They do like Jonathan Adler, but then they also do candles so you can get Fornacetti. They've got Diptyque. Yeah, I just bought myself one of the big ridiculously large diptyque candles because for styling i love them and also i love the fragrances and they're just a bit of a statement piece if ever there is a gift to buy me it is big bougie candles because i love me a big bougie candle and they had such a lovely selection that i bought myself one. Oh, it even comes in the little box oh so i got myself this Probably to go in my office or in the secret project. I haven't decided yet, but yeah, I've also got another box coming. So hopefully that turns up soon. Um, those are the two bits that I got from there. I'm gonna show you the pieces from Reese's. I'm just getting the ingredients ready to make the mulled wine, but I'm also, oh, I got Ali some pick and mix. The other day, Ali is like the biggest pick and mix head ever. So. I've washed his dressing gown and I'm going to fold it fresh on his bed and pop this on top so that when he gets in he can put his dressing gown on and also have some little pick and mixies. There we go, all laid out ready for him. The fire is lit, Lumi is hammocked on the sofa. This is so cozy. And then in here, all the candles are lit. Rice is ready, ready to go in the microwave. I've laid out all my ingredients for the mulled wine. The chili is ready to go. So I'm gonna wait for my husband to get home. 
I'm going to stick a bit more of Frank on and I will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog.